Now we're gonna take this one step further. The Grand Canyon is not always gonna be this wide in certain spots. Suppose it takes four seconds sometimes, or one second, or six seconds. We can let X represent the number of seconds and we can get a formula per se. Again, assuming the speed of sound is 750 miles per hour, and I said that wasn't exact, but it's close enough. But instead of us talking about three seconds, let's talk about X seconds. Same exact dimensional analysis, except we're gonna replace this three with X. Now when you multiply the top numbers and divide by the bottom numbers, you will get 1100, but we have to tack on this X that is in our dimensional analysis. And what X represents, it represents seconds. But remember, this is a distance that it travels across the canyon and back to you. So if we divide that by two, 1100 X divided by two is 550 X. This formula, so to speak, we can plug any number of seconds into X and this will tell us how far the other side of the canyon is. So if you had 1.5 seconds, eight seconds, two seconds, four seconds, 7.358 seconds, instead of you repeatedly changing this number out, you can just plug those number of seconds in right there, 550 times those seconds, that'll tell you the width of the canyon from the spot you're standing at to the other side.